Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today I wanted to make a little video talking about a certain game franchise and, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the things that have been levied against it in a, in, a, in, a, in recent weeks. Now, I've been speaking to Kyle about this, and Kyle basically enlightened me to the fact that Battlefield 5 doesn't exactly look like it's doing so good in that uh, pre-order department. Now, pre-orders aren't everything, but they're a solid indication of which one is going to be the more dominant game for that year. And for me, Battlefield is a pretty significant franchise. I've mentioned numerous times that I've been around with this series since Battle uh, Battlefield 2. I played through Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4. I haven't really done the Bad Company series that was on the consoles at the time, and I was just playing the older PC releases. So, for me, I've had a pretty historic uh, look at the Battlefield franchises. I've put thousands of upon thousands of hours into this game collectively, and I've been able to really get some good, uh, g good, good feelings out of it, you know, so to say... Nothing will take that away. I, I love these games because they have provided me some intense multiplayer conflicts. I love meeting new people on it, squatting up, and taking over certain points on conquests and whatever. Like, I've enjoyed it. It was a fun time. And to this day, I'll still load up Battlefield 4 and play the shit out of it. It is a good game. A genuinely good game. But I think as time goes on, I slowly have to realize that all uh, all things do come to a pretty abrupt end no matter what. And with something like Battlefield 1 is where I sort of drew the line, you know what I mean? I drew the line at Hardline, but I, I wrote that off as a mod. Battlefield 1 was where I drew uh, the line, at least for me, that I wasn't really going to play this franchise anytime further if this was the direction they were headed to. I just didn't enjoy it. I felt that it was a casualized Battlefield experience, and I was just missing the style and the intensity, I guess you could say, or just the battlefield charm of the classic game. It's like it's like EA is chasing that casual bandwagon instead of making Battlefield what Battlefield really is. You know that strategic play styles. I understand it's still a Battlefield game. I get it. I get the argument. But to me, Battlefield One just didn't click, and it was probably the World War One setting, I guess. But to me, it just wasn't clicking. I wasn't jiving with Battlefield that well. I would play the old Battlefield games, still do to this day, and I still enjoy the shit out of them. Battlefield uh, Battlefield 1, I, I, I'm not feeling too much. So for me, Battlefield 5 was an interesting prospect. I probably wasn't going to get it. But then the actual SJW crap started to happen. And I'm going to make this one right out there. I actually don't care if Battlefield 5 has any of these SJW tendencies. I understand there's a lot of people who are crying for historical accuracy on their Battlefield game, uh, not to include or include less women in the game or anything like that. For me, I don't necessarily care about that for one fucking reason only. I kill indiscriminately, okay? If you put, I don't care what gender you are on the battlefield. I don't care if you have a tits or a penis. I don't care if you, I don't care if you swing the same way or you don't. I'm a fucking end your life the same way if I got to capture B-Dom over your ass. You know what I mean? I don't really give a shit. I kill indiscriminately. So in that respect, I really didn't care. Now, as long as you don't have dabbing space Nazis fighting uh, skeletons, you know, within reason, I I can let a lot of shit slide. I don't care too much. I just like playing the game because the gameplay is what appeals to me. And I think a lot of people have maybe lost sight of it, or not not a lot of people, but rather EA's interpretation of what's going on to them or with them. I see a lot of people def defending Battlefield for being this, you know, uh, th this good game that they're really looking out to. But the pre-order numbers don't exactly lie, ladies and gentlemen. I think what people should really be looking at is the gameplay for this franchise. For me, when I used to play Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 specifically, there was four specific classes and there was just a whole level of unlocks between them. I, I genuinely felt like if I played, for example, the support class in Battlefield 3 or 4, I felt like just playing that class alone, I was getting a shit ton of hours just for that. Vice versa for the assault class, which is the medic uh, slash assault, right? Uh, and then you have the engineering class, which is, you know, the repairing vehicle class. Uh, support would be, you know, giving your friends the ammo supporting. And then recon would be your sniper class. These games were distinguished into four classes. I'm talking about Battlefield 3 and 4. While the later games, Battlefield 1 did this, Battlefield 3 and 4, I genuinely felt like, again, I was unlocking constantly uh, new guns, new attachments for the guns, new camouflages for the guns. It was like in Modern Warfare 2 on crack. You just kept unlocking things. And you felt like the amount of hours you were putting into the game, you were genuinely progressing. And the new stuff was drip-fed to you in such a consistent way that it really made the game fun and it really made chasing that dragon all worth it in the end. 
Uh, versus something like Battlefield 1, which really went ham with introducing the battle packs or, you know, the war bonds to keep buying new weapons. I felt like that progression was really limited. The the guns were far less in expanse than what they were in previous games. I felt like I had received less content for that game. The gameplay, even then, was something designed for more of a casual play, I, I would find, versus something like Battlefield 4, with such a heavy focus on the levolution and it actually changing a map style dynamically in the middle of a game. I missed a lot of those things that made Battlefield that actual game. You know, when you started comparing that game franchise to Call of Duty, Call of Duty was like that arcade shooter, and Battlefield was where this massive map was introduced. 64 players going and gunning at it. You had a mixture of of maps that were really varied within. Seriously, you know, take a look at something like Siege of Shanghai or Flood Zone from Battlefield 4, and you get an idea of just how many different nuances, different places are contained within that same battlefield. It's actually really impressive when you think about it, and especially when the dam breaks on Flood Zone, you, you start to change the height parameters. It, it, it's really a game franchise that I feel has done so excessively well that there's a reason when you play a game and you put hundreds upon hundreds of hours into it and you click and realize exactly why it works and you're able to discuss it. Something like Battlefield 1, a game that I have tried giving multiple options, just doesn't work. So, realistically, I know that I'm sort of introducing a lot of those, but Battlefield 5 comes into the situation where that gameplay also seems like it isn't exactly going to click, at least with me, and I think at least with a lot of other people as well, too. This is a game franchise where, again, we're reverting to this casualized format that Battlefield 1 has introduced. I feel like genuinely just looking at some of the beta streams, we're going to get lesser content. It's going to be a weird situation that we're stepping into, and I guess maybe a grand majority enjoy it, or maybe they don't. These pre-order numbers don't exactly lie. I don't care so much about the SJW nonsense. I buy games that have women in them anyways. One of my most played shooters is Rainbow Six Siege right now. Guess what? It has women in it, and the women are fucking overpowered. So I could give less of a fuck if my game has women in it. What I care about is very good gameplay. What I care about is having intense conflict in those games. I like squatting up with my friends and enjoying a good old time. And if Battlefield simply isn't going to provide it anymore, or if it's deviated to, the, to telling players players to go fuck themselves if they don't agree with the political ideologies of these developers, then maybe it's time that we vote with our wallets like we're doing and decide to put our money towards something else that actually matters. There's plenty of other shooters out there, ladies and gentlemen, and plenty of other games that are deserving your hours of playtime. Maybe say fuck Battlefield for this year and teach these guys an actual lesson. Because frankly, it's not about the politics, it's about the goddamn gameplay. And if these guys aren't putting up with the gameplay and fronting out, then there's no reason for you to front out with your $60. Just saying. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it, I am out.